Word list. Admit. To admit something means to say that it is true. I had to admit that I stole his idea. Bin. A bin is a container that holds things. He put his trash in the bin. Bowl. A bowl is a deep round dish that holds food or liquid. I ate a bowl of cereal for breakfast. Cabin. A cabin is a small house made of wood. My grandfather owns a small cabin in the country. Cash. Cash is money in the form of paper or coins. I was able to save up enough cash to buy my mother a gift. Criminal. A criminal is a person who does something against the law. The police made sure the criminal couldn't move his hands. Dozen. A dozen is a group of twelve things. Mom brought home a dozen donuts for us as a treat. Elder. An elder is a person who is older than the people around them. Uncle Ray is my elder, so I always try to be respectful. Facial. If something is facial, it is related to a person's face. I could tell from his facial features that he was angry. Fence. A fence is a structure around a house or field. The farmer put up a fence so that no one could walk on her field. Inspire. To inspire means to make a person want to do something. I was inspired to write a poem after watching the sunrise. Mirror. When something is mere, it is small or not important. We lost the game by a mere two points. Neat. If something is neat, it is very clean or organized well. My sister always keeps her bedroom very neat. Occasion. An occasion is a time when something important happens. Her graduation was an occasion to have a good time. Penalty. A penalty is a punishment, given when someone breaks a rule or law. I had to pay a one hundred dollar penalty for parking in the wrong spot. Rude. When someone is rude, they are mean and not polite. The children at the bus stop were very rude. Settle. To settle a problem means to end it by finding a solution. It took three of our best executives all day to settle the problem. Vehicle. A vehicle is a thing that moves people or things to another place. A ferry is a vehicle that takes people from one island to another. Wallet. A wallet is a thing that holds money and fits in a pocket. I keep my money in a wallet. Yell. To yell is to say something very loudly. The coach yelled at his team for their poor performance. The criminal. A man had been in jail because he stole things. The criminal never felt bad. One day, he escaped and ran into the woods. He found a cabin with a fence. The cabin was very neat. Inside, the criminal found a bowl of fruit, a bottle of milk, and a dozen eggs. He ate the fruit and drank the milk, but the eggs smelled funny, so he put them in the trash bin. Soon, he heard the sound of a vehicle's motor. An old man came in and saw the criminal. The old man yelled, "Why are you in my house?" The criminal lied, "I am a policeman." The old man replied, "I am your elder. You cannot fool me. You are the criminal." The criminal's facial expression became very sad. He admitted that he was a criminal. He said, "I'm sorry. It was rude for me to come into your home. Please take the cash from my wallet. It is a mere amount." But it will settle our problem," the old man said. "I do not want your money. I just want to inspire you to be good." 
there will be no penalty for taking my food. On this occasion, the criminal realized that he had been bad. He listened to the old man and never stole from anyone ever again. The criminal. A man had been in jail because he stole things. The criminal never felt bad. One day, he escaped and ran into the woods. He found a cabin with a fence. The cabin was very neat. Inside, the criminal found a bowl of fruit, a bottle of milk, and a dozen eggs. He ate the fruit and drank the milk. But the eggs smelled funny, so he put them in the trash bin. Soon, he heard the sound of a vehicle's motor. An old man came in and saw the criminal. The old man yelled, Why are you in my house? The criminal lied. I am a policeman. The old man replied, I am your elder. You cannot fool me. You are the criminal. The criminal's facial expression became very sad. He admitted that he was a criminal. He said, I'm sorry. It was rude for me to come into your home. Please take the cash from my wallet. It is a mere amount, but it will settle our problem. The old man said, I do not want your money. I just want to inspire you to be good. There will be no penalty for taking my food. On this occasion, the criminal realized that he had been bad. He listened to the old man and never stole from anyone ever again.